health experts may soon recommend a third jab for AstraZeneca vaccine after a study by the Oxford University established that a third dose at least six months after the second raises immunity back to the peak levels. So the study also showed that a long interval between the first and the second doses does not compromise the immune response. Dorcas Wangira has more. With nations having significantly vaccinated their populations, opening up their societies, nations without vaccines are facing serious COVID-19 situations with surges in cases and deaths due to COVID-19. New research findings released today by the Oxford University and the teams developing the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine now indicate that a long interval between the first and second doses does not compromise the immune response after a late second dose. Likewise, a third dose of the vaccine continues to boost antibodies against SARS-CoV-2. When the AstraZeneca vaccine or Covishield vaccine was first being administered in Kenya, the interval period between the first and second dose was given as eight weeks. But with a delay in the arrival of subsequent consignments of doses as expected, the interval period was further extended to 12 and up to 16 weeks. When examining the effects of a delay of up to 45 weeks between the first and second doses in study participants, the research results demonstrated that antibody levels were increased after a delayed second dose. Additionally, a longer delay between first and second doses may be beneficial, resulting in an increased antibody titer or concentration and enhanced immune response after the second dose. Professor Sir Andrew Pollitt, Professor of Pediatric Infection and immunity and lead investigator of the Oxford University trial of the vaccine says, and I quote, this should come as reassuring news to countries with the lower supplies of the vaccine who may be concerned about delays in providing second doses to their populations. There is an excellent response to a second dose even after a 10-month delay from the first, end of quote. Conversely, some countries are considering administering a third booster dose in the future. What we're seeing when we give a third dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca um, vaccine is that you augment the antibody uh, immunity. So you push the antibodies up higher than what you see even after a second dose. However, Dr. Willis Ahuale, the chair of the vaccine task force, says, and I quote, the findings are good, but it will be more important if we seek answers as at what point after the first dose do the antibodies wane off completely. Single shot vaccinations will be easier to deploy since they will require less operational costs, end of quote. Side effects of the vaccine itself were also found to be well tolerated, with lower incidence of side effects effects after second and third doses than after first doses. Further research is required to follow up with study participants who received third doses beyond the period that was part of the initial study. In the last 24 hours, 287 more people have tested positive for COVID-19, 95 cases recorded in Nairobi, 56 in Kajiado, 35 in Kisi, 17 in Siaya and Home Bay, and 13 in Kakamega. From a sample size of 2,000, 699. The test positivity rate is 10.6 percent. 17 patients have succumbed to the disease, all of them being late deaths, bringing the fatalities to 3,612. 1,293,004 doses have so far been administered, with 1,003,204 being the first dose and the second dose being 289,800. The proportion of adults fully vaccinated is 1.11 percent. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.